Good morning and welcome to the video for sixth grade for lesson 5.5 from Into Math. This is Mr. Parks, the math teacher at Risen Christ Lutheran School. This is our final lesson of the module. And so this is going to be the culmination of everything that we've been working on. Uh, we're going to be solving different types of problem solving questions uh, using equivalent ratios and uh, some of the other tricks that we've learned throughout the module. So for this one, I thought it would be fun. Uh, I know some of the students have enjoyed bringing slime to school in the past, even though I don't think anybody's done that yet this school year. I think we maybe finally um, put a hold on that because of uh, just different issues. Um, so if this is a project that you wanted to do at home, uh, this might be a fun way to figure out how to do that. So uh, we wanna make a batch of slime and we have a ratio of hot water to cold water. Um, as is usual, I have little bits missing on the electronic uh, copy of my book. So let's add those in uh, to make sure that we can see that clearly. So we are going to need three parts of cold water uh, for this and six parts uh, to get up to nine. So the total parts, um, it would be six to three for hot water to cold. Um, so we would have three parts of cold water for every nine total parts of water. And so if I want to double that out uh, to get 18 uh, total parts, that would give me enough information uh, to be able to get that. So how many parts of cold water? If we have 18, we would need six parts. Um, and then we can use what we worked on in the last lesson uh, to double this amount um, to get up to 18 total parts to help us figure that out. If we wanted 36 total parts, then we could start with this and we could multiply by four uh, to get the number of total parts of water at 36, and then that would give us the amount of parts of cold water, which would be 12. Um, and then they just keep giving us different things. So we're, we're working to find equivalent ratios here. Um, the only one that we kind of haven't done uh, would be uh, part G and F. If we want to find the number of parts of hot water, um, we would end up with a different number this time. So six out of every uh, nine parts are going to be hot water. So we could take our uh, six for hot water and double it um, or quadruple it. So that would give us our numbers for that. Uh, let's take a look at number four. So we want to find the ratio of water bottles sold to juice boxes at event one. So here's our uh, be 24 to 54 and then 36 to 108. And then we need to figure out, are they equivalent? So the way that we can do that is to try to see if there's some kind of relationship. So uh, for juice boxes, it looked like we doubled um, our number. And so we didn't quite meet that on um, going from event one to event two for water bottles. So it doesn't look like um, they're equivalent for both events. And then uh, one more down at the bottom, just to give another example of where we've been working with this kind of double line, uh, kind of number line situation. So it looks like we're counting by fours. So we can go ahead and fill in the blanks like so, and then we can go ahead and try to figure out um, where our equivalent ratios would be. Uh, so this looks like it would get, we're counting by three, so we can do three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, and 21, 24. Um, so now we need to extend this. So we don't have these spots. So one of the things that we can do is go ahead and try to add them in. So we would get 27 and then 30 and then 33. And for that, we would count up to 36, 40 and 44. So we have 44 Delilahs when we have 33 sunflowers. Uh, ratio to all flowers when there are 21 total flowers. So this one would be using this part right here. And so uh, we would have 12 Delilahs when we have 21 total flowers. That's the only other, um, I think, weird <laughs> trick that they may ask for um, using one of these. And then um, 
the last one would be uh, the ratio of sunflowers when we, to all flowers when we have 70 total flowers. So the one where we're going to have 70 total flowers should be this one. Nope. Yes. Sorry, I was looking at that like it was the next number we were counting by. Yeah, so it should be this spot right here. Um, so sunflowers would be 30 uh, to 70. And so these would be problems that we worked on in class. Um, I did not include the homework part for this one um, since it's just kind of a repeat of uh, things that we've done in previous lessons. So I uh, hope this video is helpful for some of the things that we're asking the students to do with today's lesson. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me either by text or email. And um, that's for Myers and Christ students. I uh, hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.